little Peter in the corner is like, but I thought we were always supposed to be good. And welcome back to The Angry Teacher. I'm Richard Williams, The Angry Teacher. And today, Johnny's acting up. Hang around, we're gonna learn today. Now, you know, here at The Angry Teacher, it's all about education and, you know, the different things that go into it, how to become a better educator um, for all of us and how to better our students. And someone asked me a while back to make a video about um, discipline and it took me a while to compile it, especially because you're on summer. I mean, I don't remember what I do. <laughs> I don't remember all that stuff. But um, now I'm gonna give you, it's probably gonna be a series because like I changed the title, it was supposed to be again, but I haven't done the first part yet because I know that there are gonna be things that are going to have to wait until a little bit later once the year starts and the kids start acting up. But for the most part right now, I'm in a good place, so I am going to just try to go by the little things that I, I normally do before I get one of those explosive situations. Now with that said, um, everyone knows I have a short temper, hence the title, Angry Teacher. Um, I don't allow a lot because I don't see a lot of things as being necessary, so why are you doing it kind of thing. But in any case, I'm going to give you like about five tips, five um, jewels and nuggets that you can use in your classroom. Now, number one, stay calm and try to talk through it. Um, talk calmly, don't overdo it, don't get loud with them, don't, um, the back and forth thing, they say something, you say something, they say something, you say something. Um, it's going to exacerbate the situation. It's going to make it even more explosive. So, you know, kind of talk to them kindly, um, calmly rather, and kindly, I guess. Um, and some, especially where, where I've worked, a lot of them, you know, they might be huffing and puffing in the corner or some may just get up and walk out because I teach high school again. Lower grades, they might be huffing and puffing in the corner, but you can have them, um, they're gonna, be, you, you talk to them quietly because you don't want to ignite the rest of the room because some kids are instigators. They will be um, ooing and eyeing just to get somebody riled up in the situation. And then somebody else is gonna spark and go off and then, you know, it's, it's gonna be a brush fire, if you will. So let's leave that out of it. Just talk calmly. I'll talk to you in a minute. I'll talk to you outside. Um, ca calm down, I'm coming to you in a minute. Um, but don't ignite it by being too don't use your loud teacher voice, if you will. All right, um, that actually happened to me online um, a couple of weeks ago. One of my favorite kids, he was something happened, and I told him, you know, mute your mic so I we don't hear the whole class is hearing what's going on in your house. Mute him. Well, it ain't me, and blah blah blah, and he's going off. I'm like, dude, calm down, calm down, and I kept my voice. I was so proud of myself because disclaimer, everybody knows that. I would have been a little bit shouty at that point because I would have been ticked off. Um, but I'm learning like everybody else. I calm down and I told dude, calm down, calm down. All I'm saying is that we don't need to hear it. Just mute your mic so you handle the situation and we'll be fine. And you know, the same class, we were fine because we've already built that, that relationship. But um, so don't get too excited. Don't raise your blood pressure. Just tell them, okay, we'll talk about it in a minute. Um, and that's it. If they continue the repartee because they want the attention that, and you think that it's an egregious, um, offense that happened and you don't want to deal with the situation or you think it's going to ignite the rest of the room because you know what? You're not teaching that one child. You're teaching about 30 plus. All right. So if you have other kids that are being, uh, you see it's, it's getting a fever pitch. You know what? Go, go to the hallway call security, ring that button, do what you need to do to keep the space safe, all right? So calmly might be out the window, but you can be the judge. You're the professional in the room. Judge the situation where it could go, all right? Number two, you need space for both of you, <laughs> if you will. Um, I teach, once again, I teach high school, so a lot of times I will, you know what? Let's go outside. Let's go talk in the hallway because I don't want the other kids to be distracted and not want to finish their work. Um, or, you know, like I've said before, they would walk away. 
I would walk away. Um, security, you know, they'd be uh, on the corner. Mr. Williams, this this young man said, blah, 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 this young lady, you know, yeah, she, she's, she's going to stay there for me until she cools down and then I'll come talk to her in a minute. Okay. So um, get, you need space. Even if somebody's stewing in the back, have them stew. They need to think about the situation. They need to be upset. They're allowed to be upset. You can be upset. You still have to teach your 29 kids or 20 or 30 plus kids um, while that person is stewing because they're not going to be learning anything at this point. So you, you, you both do what you need to do. Be a part. You, um, I've even said, you know what, Johnny, go to the restroom. Go, go get yourself together and then come back when you're ready. And then we just move on to step three. Now, every class needs to have expectations. They need to know who you are. They need to know what's expected in this space. Now, especially on um, the younger grades, you're with them a lot. I think most of the elementary schools, um, I don't think you, you, I think now they, I've been around too long. I think now they leave from um, your reading and, and, you know, the core subjects and then they go somewhere else for PE and art or whatever. But for the most part, you have them all day. Um, high school, they change around. So they have eight different expectations that they need to eight or, or so at least for a day though, that they need to be cognizant of. Um, and so they need to know what your expectations are in the beginning. Um, there are a lot of teachers. There's this new help ki kids help you come up with the expectations. And sometimes it, it I, I guess it works. I've never tried it, but I guess it works because they have to take ownership of the rules that they put in place. But um, it, if you come up with your own or if the class helps you come up with your own rules and, and, and um, guiding structure, then hold them to it. If they're doing something that I'm like, guys, and my, my, my reasons for everything are how does it affect everybody? Is it fair to everybody else? Okay, so with that said, number, what, what number am I? Four. Um, talk to them after the blow up, after they've been stewing, after they've gone walking and they cleared their head, after they've gone to their, 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 their counselor, after they've gone to, to the, the security, after they've stood in the hallway and they've thought about it, after you've gone to the restroom and cleared your head, after you've figured out that, okay, I've set the kid, the other kids up and they know what they're doing. Let me go talk to Johnny in the hallway. After we've done all that, you talk to them. Why am I mad at you? Why are you mad at me? What happened? When did the blow up happen? Why did the blow up happen? Um, could we have done this? Could we have done that? Um, there was an expectation violation that one of us did. Who was it? Why? And we kind of talk about it. Um, why did I want you to walk to, to step outside? All these things are questions that they you throw at them. You listen to them and then you respond. Um, Sometimes you know, I've seen teachers in the hallways, I'm walking by, I'm doing, doing, my, 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 doing my planning, I'm checking up on my athletes, and I'm hearing all these, these teachers, they're shouting at the kids and shouting, 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 shouting. I just, I'm just talking to you. We're just asking questions. Why, why did this have to get this far? You're allowed to be upset. Nobody's taking that from you. But did you have to respond in the way you did? I'm allowed to be upset. Did I have to respond the way I did? So these are conversations. Just talk to them. All right. And most kids, especially because I teach high school again, especially because I'm in, in, in the, the upper, the, the older kids, they respond with a, in respect and in like, you know, it's like it's just a conversation. All right. By all means, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and ring the notification bell for the next Angry Teacher Dope video. Number four. Now, after you've conversed with them and once again, depending on the nature of the offense or the um, expectation violation, call mom. Mom, today Johnny slapped a student and I had to scream at him or he didn't want to do any work today. Um, is there any way we can help him get to the point where he starts doing his work again? Or Johnny just didn't feel well and he still, um, he started screaming at different kids and he was screaming at me and that's not like Johnny even if it is. Um, so call mom, let her know what's going on. So later down, she doesn't come and say, well, you don't let my child because you've already had that conversation with the child and with her. So she knows that this, she can't go that route if she, you know, if there's a problem. Um, most parents will be okay with the conversation. Um, some kids, bear in mind that some kids 
are not okay with you calling their parents. So um, once again, feel the situation out because, and, and you know, hence the moniker pops. I talk to my kids. I, I, I let them know that, hey, we don't have to take it any further, but especially if, the, if it's an egregious situation where there was a fight, I'm going to have to do something because everybody else saw it, one, and two, um, that's just our, our, our district's rules. I have to report it. However, um, if it's just a situation where you blow up at me once and I blow up at you two, twice, <laughs> you know, we're just going to have a conversation. We apologize or I apologize, you apologize or whatever, and we move on. There is no need for a third party, especially because seniors or juniors. But if it's the younger grades, you might want to call mom or dad, record it somewhere. That's another thing. Make sure you record all this stuff so that if Johnny has once again acted up, you can um, pull out your paperwork or show them that, hey, we've talked about this. I called you here. I told the counselor and nothing was done or um, we need to get him some help. OK, contact communication important and praise the change behavior. Celebrate good behavior. Um, now. I'm not one for all the excitement and whatever when a bad kid finds redemption. Um, I do appreciate the fact that you found redemption, you've, you've changed. I will mention it randomly because I, I let you know that I know, I've noticed, but I won't let the good kids feel that, wait a minute, I've been good all year. My behavior didn't get worse. I've been constantly a good kid. Why am I not being celebrated as well? So what do I, what do I do? I randomly say it in class, you know, we're doing something, we're working independently, working as group. I'd walk around, I'd probably put a, a sticky note on your desk, great job, or I'd write it on your, your assignment, or I'll, you just won't walk by, man, remember last class you weren't doing anything? I'm glad you're doing something today. Or, um, I, I'll, I'll just say just random niceness to the good kids as well as the bad. You know, put a little humor in the, in the class. Away from that, good kids need to know that you don't have to go bad to get recognized to come back to be good again. It, I, I've never thought that. I've always, they've always thrown, you know, advanced kids at me and, and, and the honors kids and people think that I can't handle the regular kids, if you will, or the, 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 the normal kids, if you will. But everybody needs to be recognized for their good their goodness and if i came from a household where i've never been bad i i, I know my mom would move my behind why am i only i'm ignored when all the other kids they act up and they get recognized and then they turn good and then oh my god i can't i can't remember when you were such and such and then little peter in the corner is like but i thought we were always supposed to be good you know so celebrate both of them um, the, 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 the redeemed, um, problematic student and the, the student who's never been a problem. All right. Celebrate them all. And however you do it, that's up to you. Um, I know, I don't know how we can do this in COVID, but I know that elementary, there's always this, um, there's always a party for something. There's stickies and, and, and stars and smiley faces and all these little things that you can put on their papers. Um, Older kids, write it down on, on their paper. Give them a little sticky note, you pack and pat on the back, kind of nudge them, um, sit next to them. Just make every kid feel that they belong in that space. And I'm telling you that Johnny will start to either comply or realize that, hey, I don't belong in this space. But for the most part, even the bad kids realize you're having a bad day. I'm having a bad day. We're not going to make this a year thing. We're just going to fix it here. We're going to move on and we're just going to hash it out because you know what? This space is where I want to feel comfortable. I've got to be here for an hour and a half um, or an hour a day or every other day. And you know what? Let's just make the best of this. All right. So those are my five tips to deal with Johnny, who is acting up. Hang around. You know, I got some dope kids, man. <laughs>
Thanks for coming to class today. Go out there and be great. You know what? Let's just go out there and teach.